welcome to my youtube channel logic medico in this topic there is one person whistling and the other person blowing so what is the muzzle concerned with this let's see so it's called the buccinator which helps in blowing or whistling so buccinator its location is present in the cheek cheek is the area by the side of the lips and nose that area is called as a cheek the objectives for today's presentation is what is the meaning of buccinator this buccinator muzzle where does it take the origin from insertion or supply and actions buccinator the meaning of this buccinator buccinator which means the sound of a trumpet derived from buccina trumpet trumpet is this instrument which is blown in musical channels or in a festival it also means bow means cow canner means to sing so it is like a singing of a cow so this is other meaning of buccinator where bow derives from cow canner means to sing so how the cow will make a noise na no? so similarly the buccinator is used in the cow this muscle buccinator it's in the cheek you can see that here it's in the cheek this muscle will be discussed under origin insertion now supply and its action so let's start with the parts of the buccinator buccinator has got three parts the upper part middle part and the lower part this is the simplest part upper part begins from this jaw upper jaw maxilla lower part begins from mandible the middle part begins at the junction between the two maxilla and mandible so let's see this the origin of the upper fibers is from the maxilla lower fibers is from mandible which i just now told you while the middle fiber is from pterygo mandibular raphe so what is this raphe from the pterygoid plate of the spinoid bone towards the mandible there is one thickening of connective tissue which separates this buccinator from the superior constrictor of pharynx that thickening of connective tissue is called as pterygo mandibular raphe so let's see this insertion the upper fibers you can see it's going straight to the upper lip only the lower fibers they will go to the lower lip okay, but you can see the middle fibers the upper half of the middle fibers decussate or cross over to reach the lower lip while the lower half of the middle fibers decussate to reach the upper lip so it is the middle fibers which is important which will cross over to the opposite lip at the modulus modulus is like a circle it is a fibromuscular node in which these muscle fibers will cross one another so it will decussate or cross over near the modulus or the angle of the mouth lower fibers i just now told you it goes to the lower lip so action of the buccinator as you can see this person is whistling but in addition to whistle it has got additional actions so let's see what is this it flattens the cheek against the gum so this cheek will plaster against the gum because of buccinator also it prevents the accumulation of the foot in the vestibule of the mouth accidentally foot goes into this area of course the tongue will help to bring that foot back into the mouth but buccinator also squeezes the foot back into the oral cavity so that it is grinded properly between the teeth and uh, masticated with the help of the tongue and obviously you know this it helps in whistling so additional action is it is also helping this movement that is blowing so it's also called blowing muscle or the whistling muscle now to the nerve supply it's supplied by facial nerve or the seventh cranial nerve the buccal branch of facial nerve buccal means in the cheek there is a branch it's called as buccal branch of facial nerve the seventh cranial nerve so coming to the additional action this is an interesting point of the bone's point buccinator also does this movement so what is this movement it pulls the lip forward to assist the kissing action so kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell button like comment share this video with your family and friends thank you once again